and what is going on everybody welcome back to another workout slash training video uh this is actually going to be legs for me and this is going to be a different one considering uh the day that i had or the last workout video i should say because i didn't deadlift yesterday it was the day before and you guys know if you guys check that one out it did not go as as well as i'd like i know i talked about it a lot but getting down on yourself is um it's very frequent with a lot of people in the gym especially when you're trying to constantly progressively overload every week and if you're not seeing the numbers that you want to see you're not hitting the numbers you want to hit things can get uh pretty discouraging so thankfully we had a really good training session today um and i was able to get 285 for a triple and actually do it at three do it for three sets i should say um that is the biggest thing lately with me in, in training is that i've always worked up to a top set and really just i've done one top set and i've, I've been done um, whether it's a one rep max or it's a three rep max or a five rep max I've always just trained that way and I'm finding now I don't know if it's with my the weight that I've gained or with uh, just I guess my muscles uh, just getting accum ac accumulated acclimated to working at uh, a higher workload now uh, that I've been able to uh, to work at these higher top sets for um, actually more than one set but it's I like it and it's it's taking my training to uh, to another level so um really just getting into it here 165 for eight and looking back at the footage from today unfortunately my camera was out of focus for the the sets coming after this but uh i don't know what it is it's this bar is really really awkward at my gym um i i don't really experience this when i squat at other gyms for whatever reason but uh, the bar is just it's very lopsided whether it's you know, and it's not the weight because the uh, You guys will see it really start to be prevalent on my 255 and 285 sets, but for whatever reason um, I, It's just it's it's lopsided, but um, I'm just really using the cues of uh, just keeping my chest up and not squat morning squat morning in the weight if that's if you guys are not sure or have no idea what I'm talking about basically when you fold up and your the weight is too high which happens with a lot of people that squat heavy um, you'll experience the bar coming back on you um, or actually coming forward on you I should say and you you fold up on the on the way up from from the weight and it's definitely a big no-no um, it's happened with me a lot in the past and it's led to a lot of knee pain and just a lot of potential injury so I'm just making sure that I'm, I'm being smart with it um, this is actually a 10 pound PR considering that I'm not using a belt. My last uh, three rep max without a belt last week was 245 for a triple. So um, here, I, I just, I'm so confident with, with how it feels. And um, this is the PR and I was, I thought I'd be done. Honestly, guys, I thought I'd be done at 285 for a triple and that was going to be it. But um, I, I did it for two more sets and I'm just stoked to be able to, again, work at that capacity and be this close to three plates again. So um, this bottom right hand corner of the screen was just two weeks ago 255 for a triple and to see me uh, struggling that much with that amount of weight on the bar um, you can see a, a pretty uh, clear you know a fold up on the last rep there and then to look at the footage from today uh, 30 pounds later is uh, you can see almost like whoop I hit the top pin there actually unracking it but I regained uh, my, my footing there um but again to to be able to be 30 pounds more on my squat in two weeks is uh I, I i've gone through strength gain phases if you want to call it a phase before uh but this is a this is really really it's motivating for me uh my form isn't perfect guys and i i completely realize that but um you know that's something to to kind of dial in as I continue to to move forward with this. And when I'm working at the intensity that I'm working at, uh, especially when I'm I'm constantly I'm hitting three rep maxes every single week. I mean my form isn't going to be spot on here. Uh, I I really like working on my form on my hypertrophy days. If you guys have seen, I'm I'm not sure if I put any of those up yet, but um, essentially where I train my front squat and then I do a lot of hamstring work and calf work. Uh, mainly on Sundays is when I do those, but um, I usually work on my squat form in those days too. Um, and as my accessory for today, like I always say, guys, I follow up with my main compound movements with an accessory lift, and that was leg press today. And I actually ended up hitting six plates today, which is actually uh, very, very interesting. And I kept it only at six reps. I find that anything low rep to me is below the four rep range, four to five reps, I, I, I consider to be pretty low. So six sharps, and I've always said uh, no one really cares. At least in my opinion, I don't. I don't really 
find that anybody, you know, like pressing eight, nine, ten plates is that impressive. Um, so I, I don't really think it, it should, re your ego should really be kept at the door, especially with this lift. So, um, other than that though, everything went pretty smooth. I finished off with some, um, I did, I did some calf raises also with the, the lug press and then finished off with some, a uh, stiff legged deadlifts, which again, have always, 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 always murdered my hamstrings. So, um, I'm really finding that by putting these in my routine, not worrying about not being able to ride a bike because I, I don't really ride that much anymore. It's going to really improve my deadlift and my squats. So, um, that's pretty much it guys for this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you guys want to see more from just my training in general. So I'll see you guys in the next video.